Did you know that if you participate in the raid weekend and claim raid medals, that you can use those medals to speed up upgrades on your home village? Oh yeah, today I'm gonna show you how. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and today we're gonna start out on our Town Hall 12 Gold Pass series account. Now we're gonna be jumping over to our Town Hall 14 free to play series account later on in the video because this trick applies to both accounts regardless of how we play the game. And today's topic is how to spend those raid medals effectively or more efficiently, if you will. Now we're all probably doing about the same thing, working on the development of our villages. That's one major common thing between players, whether you're a hardcore war player or you're a casual guy sitting out in the corner playing the game on your phone, right? I mean, we're both doing the same thing. So we're over here, we're gonna start with upgrading of some heroes real fast and then we'll get into those raid medals. So let's put our Archer Queen down for upgrade. Let's put our Grand Warden down for upgrade to level 23. And one of the best parts about being a gold pass player and speeding through the season challenges is free books of heroes. I like it. We're gonna go ahead and use that book of heroes on that Archer Queen, get her back from upgrade. And another perk of the gold pass is having runes. <laughs> what do we got? 4,000 Dark Lakes? Yeah, this is worth This will be fine. It'll be fine. We can't be perfect because we'll end up uh, having to waste runes. So we're going to go ahead and put that Archer Queen back down for upgrade. All right. We're good to go there. All builders are down. Okay. So the topic of raid medals, you get them every time you go into raid weekend and you participate and take out some buildings and then you get them on Monday morning. You normally open up your account and you're like, yes. You know what I mean? But how do you spend them? Well, most players that are in really small clans more than likely use their raid medals to do clan castle reinforcements. I completely understand, you know what I mean? Because I was in a small clan a few months ago and it's really difficult when nobody's online to donate and you really are impatient. I mean, I'm super impatient and I'm like, you know what? We gotta have troops right now. So that's how we end up spending the raid medals. But that's not the most effective way to spend them. So if we set aside the building upgrades and the hero upgrades, the third thing that takes a long time to upgrade and max out is going to be the items within your laboratory. You only have one laboratory regardless of the town hall level you're playing, right? So one of the biggest challenges for a lot of players is keeping the upgrades going nonstop because that requires farming of resources or the collection of resources from clan war, doing the upgrades and waiting the time for those troops or spells to finish. Well, one of the best things about the laboratory is there are options to speed it up, like the books of fighting and the books of spells. A lot of times you can get those from either the gold pass or doing the clan games. But then you also have the option for the hammers of fighting and the hammers of spells, but that requires work within the clan war leagues and it also requires saving up those league medals to buy those hammers. So there is another way raid medals let's go over to the trader in may we saw a change to the trader tent and you'll see that you have two different tabs you got the gems and you have the raid medals but then you also have this timer at the top it says six days 13 hours 58 minutes what that means is that these items within the trader resets every single week and if there's four weeks in a month and you go down to the raid medals, you can buy any of these options every single week. So let's go through this list. We got some resources. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. We have gold, elixir, dark elixir. Really not beneficial for some players out there that grind the game. It could be beneficial for those that are casual. I get it. But when we get into the potions, a lot of these options are really not that great. I mean, some of them are just like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Eh. But then you also got to remember we have the research potion three of three for 200 raid medals. That means that there are three options or three different potions that we can buy. A little bit of a refresher for those of you out there that don't know, the research potion speeds up the laboratory research for 24 times faster for one hour. So what that means exactly is that by using one potion, you are removing one day from any upgrade that is currently active in your laboratory. 
That's a good thing. So when we look at this, we have three of three. That means we have three hours, three days removed. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> that means that we can buy three of them. So let's go ahead and buy three of those. One, two, and three. Now we're sold out. They just added that in the most recent update. But in six days, 13 hours, 56 minutes, this option will be available again. So that means that next week we can buy three more research potions. And the week after, for the whole month, you will get a total of 12 research potions. That means 12 days removed off of upgrades within your laboratory. This is quite helpful for free to play players. Just going to throw that out there. Let's go over to our laboratory now. So we got this baby dragon option. <laughs> we got the baby dragon upgrading for six days, 22 hours. And you'll see that it costs us 992 gems or a book of fighting. Book of fighting I normally save for higher amounts of time. Plus you got to have resources to put the upgrade back down again or a different troop or another spell down for upgrade again. So the research potion, we can just activate it like this. One, two, three. Yes, they stack. You'll see that it says down here, boost left, two hours, 59 minutes. And according to this, we got six days and 22 hours on our baby dragon upgrade. After the three hours, that will leave us with exactly three days and 22 hours. Yes, three days and 22 hours remaining on that upgrade. And then we can move on to a different task. So on that last account, we had the gold pass, which also has the option for that 20% research boost, which is going to help speed up the laboratory on that account. But what about the free to play players? We've already played through this account right here for the last 35 months, grinding it out and playing it traditionally. And the only options that we had to help speed up our laboratory were those books from the clan games and also the hammers from the clan war leagues. It happened time and time again in prior videos. But now we have gotten so high at Town Hall 14, I gotta show you this. This is where those raid medals are really gonna come in handy in buying those research potions because a lot of these upgrades, I mean, we got like 14 day to 18 day upgrades. Healer right here, 17 days. We got a Barbarian, 14 days. Same thing applies to the Yeti, 18 days. I mean, nobody really wants to wait that. I mean, really, do you enjoy waiting these times? Please let me know down in the comments below because I commend you. I mean, I honestly commend you. So based on the information I showed you earlier, we're gonna jump over here to our trader tent and we're going to be purchasing those three research potions. Now, I really do not want to jinx this. I really don't. But I have a feeling that Clash of Clans is going to probably take this away from us. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to speed up the upgrade on our Dragon Rider. The Dragon Rider was taken like, I think I started this upgrade like two weeks ago. We still got two days left. But let's go ahead and stack those potions like this. And that means that within the next hour, no, my bad two hours in two hours i will need to do an upgrade again within this laboratory and it looks like our resources are empty oh boy <laughs> shame on me let me check my town hall and see what magic items we have on this account perks of being free to play we have literally no magic items other than a hammer of fighting which we'll be probably using on that healer more than likely using on that healer but i think that's pretty much it guys let me know down in the comments below if that trick helped you out at all if you learned something today i don't know but we will see you in the next video